I'm David Smith, and I'm a trustee here at the Heritage Glass Museum here in Glassboro, New Jersey. Now here at the museum, there are a number of pieces of glass that tell a story. And one of those is this 19th century calabash bottle that was made here at the Whitney Glass Works. It's called a calabash bottle because of its shape that resembles the gourd from the calabash plant that were used in, as containers in some cultures and are still useful today. This particular bottle is embossed with the image of the 19th century Swedish singer Jenny Lind. It could be said that Jenny Lind was uh, so popular during her career that she was like the Taylor Swift of her time. She was brought to the United States and promoted by the great circus entrepreneur P.T. Barnum. And she was so popular that her performances were sold out wherever she went. I mentioned that this bottle tells a story because it addresses a problem that all manufacturers of products face and that is how to make their product stand out in order to get the consumer's attention to make you want to buy it. Now, even though this bottle is 150 years old, it's a good example that highlights the problem that still exists today for people who make things. You may have seen products like these on the store shelves where you live with this kind of blending of a product and a popular image. And when we pick things like this out, we feel like we're getting a little bit more than just the bottle or what's in it, but we're also getting a little something extra because of the popular image that we see on it. It's a good approach to marketing today, and it must have been just as effective back then, because this particular bottle was made by several different glass houses and in a variety of different colors. This bottle was made in the 1850s, shortly, or during, shortly after or during Jenny Lynn's U.S. tour. Whitney made it in this beautiful aquamarine color with a number of air bubbles suspended in the glass, which collectors love to see. This bottle has what's known as an open pottle scar on the bottom, which helps us to date it and tells us also how the blower handled the bottle when, in order to finish the top while it was still much too hot to touch. On the reverse is embossed a nice image of the glass house in order to add some appeal. This bottle and other articles of glass that tell a story are here on display at the Heritage Glass Museum and we invite you to come and see them.